Hey there, my friend. How are you doing? How are you doing? I pray that you are doing well. I pray that you are doing well. This is Jerome Shaw, creator of the Open Palm Podcast. And I'm coming on here to talk to you a bit. You know, there are often times where I get thoughts of coming on here and sometimes I abide by that thought and sometimes I don't. But today I really wanted to. And I wanted to talk about just a few things about my life things that have been going on, strange things in the fairy tale land of Jerome Shaw, definitely exciting times. And, you know, it's exciting for me because when I was young, I always thought of having superpowers. I always thought of being a superhero, whether I would have super speed or flight, you know, agility, teleportation, you know, being able to transport myself wherever I wanted instantaneously. Uh, at the drop of a hat and just all sorts of different powers that I envisioned myself to have in life. And I finally found one, and that was the power of inspiration, the power to inspire another person. And so I pray that I can do that. I pray that I've done that. I pray that I've been doing that. If you've been following this channel, if you've been following the Open Palm podcast on any of the podcast platforms that you listen to yours, I pray that you've been receiving much inspiration And so I wanted to come to you today talking about this pranic living, this breatharian, liquidarian way of life that is really just flourishing, thriving, and just, it's just flowing. It's just blossoming and blooming across the world. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. I've been on this journey for some months now. Um, You could say it's over a year now since last year. Uh, During May, June, and July, I decided to go on a fast, actually, and it was a really profound fast. I actually went uh, three successful months without eating anything solid, and it was at a time in my life where a lot of things were changing, a lot of things were up in the air, things were very uncertain, but what I knew for certain was that I didn't want to be where I was. I wanted to be somewhere else. I wanted a different lifestyle. I craved a different lifestyle. I had lost a lot of people. I had lost close people to me, people that I had loved, people that I thought were going to be around forever for my entire life. Um, You know, lifelong friends, significant others, and just, you know, relationships that I never thought that I would lose. I lost. I lost. And it happened so fast. And I just, I didn't know what to do. I was at wit's end and I needed something. And that something came to me by the way of fasting. So fasting was a godsend for me. It was my savior. It was the thing that got me out of my shell, got me out of my rut, got me unstuck, right? And got that energy moving again. And it was in such a profound and major way that it changed my whole way of being. It changed my whole life. And I just want to talk more about fasting and what it's done for me, but specifically uh, pranic living, breatharianism and liquidarianism, living life on liquid. Right now, today is day 27 of this new liquid journey, and I'm doing it for indefinite, for the indefinite foreseeable future. Uh, I have not eaten solid food for the last 27 days. I feel fantastic. I feel great. I have so much energy. I'm getting so much done, so many things. And I have so much to tell you because we met um, some just wonderful people, by the way, of Shana Dean up there in in California and Santa Rosa and also Rocky in Sacramento, California. So Rocky, you know her on YouTube as the Breatharian Yogini. So I'll talk about, you know, meeting them and I'll talk about all sorts of stuff. But you know, drop any questions that you have below. Have you ever heard about this lifestyle? Have you ever heard about pranic living? Have you ever heard about breatharianism? Have you ever heard about liquidarianism? Have you ever heard of living on light, living on liquid, living on less, right? How less is more. Drop a comment below. Let me know. And for more inspiration, you can always, once again, go to the Open Palm Podcast. You can find that wherever you find yours. Grab the new book now out on Amazon that is called Finding Inner Peace by Jerome Shaw. You'll see a link down that in the episode description for that. Be blessed, my friend. We will continue. You'll be hearing more from me and keep shining out there. Mm-hmm.